All right, so today is April 12th, or, ah, no, it's not, shield. <laughs> I'll be in trouble. All right, let's try that again. So today is eight, uh, I am stuck on this. I, I finally saw the date posted for the show last night, and it's April 15th, 2023, and I guess I just got that just permanently engraved in my mind now. All right, so today is January 12th, 2023, and I'm gonna yank this body. So, short time frame on this one, and lots to do. So, I'm not gonna stand here and run my mouth. I'm gonna get to work. As I'm going along here, I want to kind of document the findings and such. One thing that's kind of interesting is, see this is loose. There's no rubber left under here. So I don't know if it just rotted away or what. I haven't put a socket on here yet. Um, obviously it's been bumped in the rear. I mean bumped, not slammed or anything like that. Um, we can get a good look at the bumper bracket here now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill the factory spot welds out by the new correct piece and I'll spot weld it back in. On this side, the, so I could tell that the impact when it, like somebody probably just pulled into them or they backed into something or whatever, it was more to this angle here. Now the deck lid at the gap on the top, it was tighter on this side than that side and then if you looked at the apron across how it met up to the fenders, the side was slightly in. Now, if you look down this way, this area in here is more dished inward, whereas this side, you can see flush, maybe slightly outward like it should be. So I'm gonna come in here and push this back out. I'm gonna do the same thing here. You can see they've been welding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, push this back out. You can see a little bit of a ridge here. So straighten this back out, remove this, replace it, and I'll be good to go. The other thing was right here. It's not on the other side. So smooth this back down as well. Other than that, no broken bolts, not even the ones at the bottom. Pretty much you just crack them loose and they spin right out nice. And then this side, you see the rubber still in here. The washer, it's pretty solid. I mean, there's a slight amount of play. So I just thought that was a little bit interesting.
All right, this car just kind of keeps amazing me, I guess you'd say. This just how solid and how easy every single bolt comes out. I mean, it's it's unreal. And the icing on the cake. I'm not sure if the light will pick up on this. Go over in there. You can pick it up. There we go. Look at that. Tell me that ain't nuts. You can see the fuel pickup down there and a little bit of surface rust around it. Oh, the camera's starting to focus now. That's insane. This car has been sitting since 82 or 83. You guys say when to go, I'm ready. One, I'm ready. One, go. two, three, go. Everybody okay? Yep. You guys ease it down. Yep. Thank you, Tony. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a lovely 33 degrees out here this morning and uh gonna blast this thing. I've got the hot water hooked up to the pressure washer. I'm super clean, got all the wheel wells, um, support rails, luggage tray, got the chassis back here. Got it all hosed down with super clean, so we'll see what we can do. All right, so here it is after the pressure washing. No amazing results or anything like that. And it's cold, you know, degreaser doesn't work well. And um, I didn't have enough hot water going to the pressure washer to really make up for it. So it is what it is. I knocked off all the heavy crap where I needed to. So it'll make it a little, a little easier, a little cleaner to disassemble. And on the body. They never painted this, it was just primer from the factory. Got some, you know, like rubber undercoating stuff that they put in various places on it. some of that rubber coating on here also but up under here is that it's just primed
Okay, so that's as far as I'm going to take it this time. Um, I got to get back on mic 73. I kind of tinkered with it a little bit last night and uh, wasn't raining today, so I had to jump on this. So I did. And uh, now I can get a little better look at, you know, the underside, see things that, you know, I was kind of wondering about like how well would they clean up and what exactly am I going to do with it? Because again, this is going to be a patina car, but I mean, it's nice enough. It really should be a fully restored, you know, trailer queen. But if you do that, it's, it's kind of a waste in a way. You're not going to drive it. You're not going to enjoy it like that. You can go out in the garage, look at it. You can have fun with it at the show, but that's about it. Other than that, it's just a, uh, like a brick it just sits there you know you don't really do anything with it and I want to drive it I want to enjoy it I don't want to be stressed out every single time I take it out and I mean there's going to be enough of that anyway let's face it these cars these days they're so hard to come by and we're just surrounded by idiots on the road and I mean you take a risk anytime you take them out but you got to drive it you got to enjoy it and that's what I plan to do so Probably what I'm going to do is just leave, you know, leave the exterior, but you know, underneath, I want to make sure it's all taken care of. I'm not going to do anything to this car to, you know, let's say harm it in any way, as far as it being fully restored at some point and put back. Uh, I'm not going to do any butchering or anything like that. And I want to protect it. I mean, you can see how clean, how solid this car is. It needs to be that way another, you know, 50 years from now. So, um, I got some ideas in mind. I don't really want to go over it yet because I want to figure out what I want to do first. But um, I know what I'm going to do on the chassis. I'll reveal that when I get it blown apart and get it blasted. And I got kind of an idea under here. But, you know, tell me what. Just uh, let me know what you would do. How would you address the underside? Would you go in there and repaint it all? Um, you know, clean it up, you know, rust proof it, undercoat it. I mean, what would you do? Let me know. Put, put me a comment down below and, uh, let me know your thoughts on that. But, uh, it's getting there slowly but surely. And like I say, the biggest thing was get it apart, get eyes on everything that I needed to see. So I got a clear direction of where to go from now, especially with the time frame. And, uh, yeah. So anyhow, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. I'm going all the way through this car in the next three months. So just keep pumping them out as well as regular builds along the way too. So if you would like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.